Hi all, this is my new plasma torch with a pilot arc function and I'm gonna show you how it works. Okay, that zone comes from the from the electro bulb. Let's power this up. That was my fault. There was a a wire disconnected. Okay. I think now it's the final try. Okay. That's I think you can see it and that's the pilot arc function okay. okay let's see if that can cut some metal Here's a screw. Oh, okay. Right. Now I'm gonna put here a screw just in front of the nozzle and a hammer to stop it from moving. Okay, I think that is the correct position. Yes. Make some plasma. very powerful pilot arc I think it's a bit higher than it would be but yes it's cutting starting to cut and for sure this will make a pilot arc function the, the, the pilot arc function actually works connecting the internal electrode with the part you are gonna cut and then the main plasma stream is power up and it's when you start cutting the metal okay see you Okay, uh, this is a full scale test. I've just connected the clamp, the positive clamp here, okay, and it's going to shot the real plasma stream, the main arc, not just the pilot arc. The pilot arc will start the process, but then the main arc will be power on okay let's do it i think the distance are correct okay Let's see if this can cut some metal. I think yes. That was one spot. Okay, and another one. 
the last thing is remarkable about this is that there is no Amy. There is no electromagnetic interference made by this thing. And the the other pilot arc systems use a high frequency, high voltage generator which makes a lot of Amy and that will interfere some of your CNC systems. Okay. Okay, uh, this is my CNC plasma and as you can see here all these wires are not sealed and if I use a normal pilot arc plasma cutter with a high frequency generator all this noise, this electromagnetic noise will induce voltage and current here which will go through the wire to the controller and that will make the motors to move mm, randomly moving up and down and lose your absolute precision.